want to give you a quick understanding of how to pour your All right, so you're gonna put your 12 by 12 paper down on your measuring board. So I have my cutting mat here. And from the corner, I'm gonna measure over seven inches. And then I'm going to also measure down seven inches, okay? And you're gonna come down to your left corner and that's gonna be your point your bottom point of your kite. So what you wanna do is take a ruler or something like that that can give you some guidance on connecting the dots from the corner to your piece. Okay, and maybe you wanna use your ruler and your scoring tool, just like that. And then you want to do the same thing on this side. I'll give you a nice scoring mark here. Just like that. Okay. And then you're going to score those back. And you're going to end up with your kite shape. Okay. And this is what I used. I glued these down, these two flaps, and then I just collaged on top of it. It's a good project for your kids, but what I did first is I took that piece of nice um, packing paper that I got in one of my packages, and I went ahead and laid that down, and I just traced around it essentially. I just ripped around it. So I lay my ruler down and tore away. just to get somewhat smaller section of paper.
you're taking all of those little scraps and you're just going to rip them and put them down, glue them down one at a time, overlapping and everything. Okay. Just have some fun with it. This is why it's really good. The kids can do this with you. Um, you're using up your scraps. You're just being a kid. Rip them up, find your pieces. Go look through your stash for anything that's red, white, blue. Doesn't matter if it's not, um, you know, all the same collection. You're just gonna use up your scraps, overlapping them, okay? As you can do, spread some of that out. Once you have it covered, you will cut it out. And then I just cut two little strips of white paper. And I used it here and here. I just overlapped it so that it would go the whole distance. I fussy cut around one of the um, cut apart pieces, the ephemera pieces in one of the collections and I use some inks. All right, so what I am going to do is just color these three stars. So let me see the way that I want these, maybe red. No, I think blue for this little one. And then I'll do one white and one red. So if you don't wanna get your hands all messy, I just used a little trash bag and put some paint right on there. And then I'm just painting. Let me get my handy dandy pokey tool here. And then we're just gonna let that dry. Okay. And then I'm going to move over to a different section of the bag. I'm going to make sure to shake that up pretty well. Get some red. I'm going to do that here with this one. going to use those for the middle of my rosettes. So I have a couple of pieces here, strips. These are from a 12 by 12 paper collection and this measures one and a half inches in width. I have two of these. I have another two that measure one and a half. And then I did one that measures one and a quarter, I believe. Yeah, one and a quarter. So I'm gonna just fold these back and forth accordion style like this. This goes pretty fast. The other thing that you could do to make your rosettes really decorative is to Go ahead and use one of your punches along the edge. So I'll grab the hearts. 
let me just do that real quick. Way you can save these little hearts as confetti. I like this punch a lot. So try to think of different ways to use your um, craft tools. Okay, so that's one. I will do the rest of these off camera just to speed things up. But I think I'm going to do a different punch for. For some of these okay I'll be right back all right so we have all of our folded pieces and I went ahead and punched all the edges I'm gonna go ahead and start what I did is I punched out a couple of circles that I'm gonna use as the backs to these um, so that I can glue them down now the wider they are the strip width um, I find that it's better to glue two lengths together. That's why I went ahead and cut two of each of those. And then when I'm folding them, I wanna make sure to start one uh, down, if you can see that, in this fashion, fold it down. And then this one, I folded up the opposite direction. So, that by the time you get to the end here, they can interlock like this. You're gonna glue them so they interlock like that. So I have my hot glue. I'm gonna do this with my hot glue, being very careful, but this way it can go ahead and secure it fast. Okay, so there we go, get it started. That. Okay, and all right. And I'm going to scrunch it up a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and glue the other end together just like so. a ring and all you need to do is kind of scrunch it up like this and start laying it down a little bit at a time and then you're gonna push everything to the center but make sure that you're doing it the right way because you punched all the corners you don't want to just cover that up so I'm gonna turn this around and the longer your strip is the easier this is to do you'll probably see with the the smaller ones but it's going to want to try to jump up and out so you got to be ready to hold it down okay once i get it settled i'm just going to hold it in the center there a little bit and then i'm going to take one of my circles this other way so you can see and i'm going to go ahead and place some hot glue on the middle of one of my circles. And then I'm gonna go ahead and holding this together, lay the middle down on the center of that circle. You can use your mat uh, underneath if you're looking for it to be exactly centered, but just making sure this is glued down. Spread out these wings a little bit. Just pressing this down so that can cool. Pretty centered, that's okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and place a little bit more glue down 
one in the center there. And the other thing I'm gonna do, get another glue stick, but I was deciding which star did I want. I think I want the red star on here. Oh, that was still wet, so good. I think I'm going to use this straw and glue that on this little paper straw. So I'm just going to push this up in like that. Is that the, way, the way I want my star. Okay, right there. So I'm going to put glue in between these two little webs. press my, my straw pretty quickly into that web, into the center. And just like that, you have a little wand or a firework in this case is the look I'm going after. So I think that's super cute. All right, I'm gonna do the next one. I used another punch on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and glue these ends. Again, press down. That's what that one's going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and place some glue on this one. Being pretty generous with the glue. is not easy people. You know what? I bet you it might be easier just to put it down on the back side. So face down and not glue it to your table. <laughs> this is a how-to on what not to do. what not to do. So don't do that. <laughs> push this one together a little bit. All right, pretty forgiving. It's okay that it's not all the way in the center. I'm going to use that other star the white one. Yeah. So I'm going to figure out where I want my little straw, first of all. So I think I want my straw there. So I'm going to put the straw in first this time. I'm put the glue. Go ahead and put the straw in up to the middle there. So you can see it's in the middle. And this way I'm going to place glue here in the middle to kind of hold that straw and the star and be able to place that star straight up. I'm 
this little fantasy fiber. It's available at Country Craft Creations. So let me pull some of that out. Try to stuff that up behind. I'm gonna peel that up. that. Isn't that neat? Yay! And I have this one. Oh. oh, Nicole, don't break your star. I'll glue it back. And I got the blue fantasy fiber. It's just edge of midnight. You don't need much, but let's use some of the stuff that we have in our stash. that apart. I'm going to place some glue on the back side of the star this time. And I'm going to place this just like that. I think that's pretty. Let me go ahead and glue this one together. Now, if you're using one strip, and I scored these at quarter inch when I scored the larger ones at half an inch, so I'm just gonna cut off one of those sections. That way you have one that's going up and one that's going down. This one, maybe I'll put that, layer it up, oh that's cute, is that cute? I'm going to need a little bit of the fantasy fiber behind it, does it need blue or just white? Let's try the white. Place glue on the back side of the star. I'm gonna glue that down like that. Nice. I'm gonna put this because this is so small. Yep, I'm gonna be able to tuck it just a little bit in there. So place the glue. Truman, oh. Truman. Shh, shh. Okay, let me move this out of the way. And I'm gonna save this one for another project. And then I'm gonna bring in my other project. 
which is my kite. Okay. And then what I'm looking to do is to kind of place these here like so. So I think I'm going to cut these straws down. I want these at three different heights. I think I want the red one in the center. Let's see. Maybe I want this. Like that. Does that look, you guys? Something like that. So I'm going to cut this straw here. These are just paper straws you can pick up. And then I'm going to use my hot glue again. So I want this one there. glue on the back side of that straw there so that those are secured I had I had used a piece of paper just for a bow to make a bow I think I'm gonna put a um, a different bow though on this okay I'm gonna put some there just like that and just like that just let that dry real quick I'm gonna cut this off and clearly I need to put some more hot glue under here to hold that secure. Under that one to hold that secure. Okay, and then as far as the bow, but I also want a hook. So I used a couple of pipe cleaners. I went ahead and um, just put these wrapped them together. I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue those onto the back as well. So, place some hot glue there. Of course, I'm gonna run out as I'm doing this. Fantastic. This is just so that it can attached to something, that's all. Okay, that's good. Stick a hot glue. Okay, and then for my ribbon, I went ahead and pulled out a grosgrain ribbon, and I decided that what I'm gonna do is place this here. So I think I'll just wrap this paper on the end around these paper. Um, what are these called? Straws? To help secure it down. Let's do that first. Okay. I'm going to place some hot glue on this grow green ribbon. Put my camera. Yep. Place that there. Recycling one of my wreaths. <laughs> so I had this wreath from years ago, 
and you can see it's kind of mangled. Let me pull you out a bit. Like so. And my thought is I would have this. have another tie on my wreath already and I can use that to tie this to secure this behind just gently and that way my little kite is all secured like that. And I think maybe the last thing I was going to do is put some little pom pom trim hanging down. And this as well. go ahead and just put some hot glue of paper and I scored it like that and then I cut strips up like this so that it could just be like a little tail so I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you're enjoying the hop happy 4th of July to all of you I wish you a safe and happy holiday and check out country craft for creations for all of your uh, wonderful paper needs for scrapbooking, mini album making, and just general crafting. Until next time, everyone, happy crafting, you all. Bye.